All right, back on Study Ball, we're talking about Matt Corral. Looked at the good tape early in the week. A lot to like about him uh, in terms of when he stays efficient, uh, when he's throwing those underneath balls that he doesn't have to drive with a lot of velocity. Really, really accurate uh, and, and limits his movement in that case, whether it's uh, off of the, the RPOs. Boom, popping his feet, limiting that movement, getting set quick, and then ball up by the ear and out and accuracy. Now, I feel like, and a lot of people tell me, I'm only going off of what I see on tape, a lot of people tell me that they love his big arm. Uh, what I saw on tape was that I really liked him better when he didn't have to drive the football. When he would drive the football, ball seemed to get away from him a little bit more. I think he's used to being compact and quick with the ball. When he's got to add more to it, he's not quite as efficient with the football, and that was something that stood out to me in this tape. All right, so here's what I'm talking about. You'll watch just a quick little, what we call a stick or a double out, a flat and a stick here. And you're gonna notice when he rushes things, so whether that's trying to throw it quicker or whether he's trying to throw it harder because he has to timing wise, you'll notice the weight stays way up on the front. He gets transferred to the front very quickly right here. And when that happens, it affects the accuracy here on a quick throw right here. Boom, trying to rush that a little bit. The accuracy is a little bit off. Okay, so here's one where we've got a deep move. So here we go, we're gonna have a deep move, what we call a bit of a seven pump, lean and go. So you'll see again, trying to drive the football out there, big arm, lay the football out of there, as he drives it, ball comes out flat and a little bit more inaccurate as he's got to throw the football down the field. Just one of those balls, just put it up in the air, lay it up. But as he drives the football, I felt like he got more and more inaccurate, um, you know, with the ball. So whether it was the quick out on the first play when he's got to drive the ball a little bit and he's got to speed up the process, a little bit inaccurate. Okay, when he's got the double move, he's really got to drive the football out there, a little bit flat and more inaccurate in those situations. Okay, here's another one. Okay, we got the play action. We're trying to drive it around the free safety. Just trying to drive this here. So I've got to drive the football a little bit more. Guy right here, as he drives the football, again, you'll see a little bit more inaccurate with the football as he drives it. Maybe could have waited a little bit longer, but turns quick, right? He's speeding up the process. Boom, ball inaccurate in that situation. Okay, here we go again. Play fake, flip the feet. I love it. Love all this right here. Boom, watch him flip the feet all at one time. Flips and gets set. That's all good. Now he speeds up the process. Flip, set, pause. Pause for a second, gather yourself, and again, you see him trying to drive this football. Instead of laying it up, he's trying to drive this football a little bit more high, inaccurate once again as he's trying to really put something behind that football. Technique and everything looked really, really good. Okay, another one down the field. Out by the numbers, okay? Trying to put some touch on it here. So he's trying to lay it out there a little bit, okay? So this one, not as much a drive throw as more of a touch throw, you know? So the quick ones that he could drive, the ones across the middle, times he could be really, really accurate with those. Other times you see him try to set this out there, ball way back behind, should have been intercepted right there. And so you'll see the inaccuracies come in on different kinds of throws throughout a game. Here's another one, trying to lay the football out of there. Lay it out to his guy. Get it out there and throw it. Okay, so when he can't just get the ball out, see his guy, struggles a little bit with the accuracy as he's laying it down the field. And again, we gotta always mention, this is one game. We all have games where we struggle with certain things 
uh, compared to other things. But this was something that I noticed throughout this game was just the inaccuracies that showed up uh, on different kinds of throws that he needed to make. So there's a lot to like about Matt Corral. We looked at it in the first tape. It was just the inaccuracies throughout this game that kind of jumped out to me because he missed badly on a number of those throws. I noticed a lot of times it seemed to be when he was really driving the ball, had to add something extra to the ball that the ball would get away from him. So something I want to pay attention to as he moves to the next level. Those last couple throws as he was starting to take something off the ball where you have to be able to do that. You have to be able to change your trajectory. Got to be able to drive balls down the field with your core, but also take your arm out of it a bit so you can lay the ball and the ball will continue to carry on you and get out in front of your receivers. On those last couple touch throws, you saw he struggled with this. It became more of an arm throw. Balls were inside, balls were behind his receivers. So a lot of good stuff when he's definitive in knowing where he wants to go with the football, when those throws are quick and inside by the hashes, really, really good. When those throws start to get away from that uh, is where he started to struggle more in this particular game. So again, something I want to watch as I continue to watch more film, is that a theme that shows up over and over again? And then of course, when he goes to the next level, that's something I'm gonna keep my eyes on, that there's certain things that I think he's gonna be really, really good at at the next level in terms of getting the football out, the RPO game, but I wanna see how it translates to the th deep throws down the field.